Welcome back to Stoffer Garage. Today I'm going to show you how to clear your headlights really quickly and easily using a few common tools. Over time, UV rays and debris is going to cause your headlights to get scratched and dirty. And using this process, you can do it quite easily. The first tool that I have is just a Chicago Electric DA polisher, so an orbital polisher from Harbor Freight. It cost me 60 bucks and using their products uh, actually aren't too bad in terms of polishers and their pads are rather cost effective which if you're doing certain things like polishing your glass or your headlights in this case so grabbing the blue one due to it being a little bit more firmer I attach it to my polisher and I've been using the optimum polishing and compound uh, products lately and I'll be using the compound too due to its abrasiveness to ensure you don't scratch your paint, go ahead and grab just some regular painter's tape, this is the wide type, and go around your headlight and cover all the paint on the edges to ensure that you do not scratch it during the buffing process. It also just keeps everything a little bit cleaner. Grab your glass cleaner and clean your headlights so that way you're not polishing any dirt into the surface and causing even more scratches than before. I like to use a piece of tape to split a headlight or panel in half and that way you can kind of get a before and after of your progress as you clean the car. Spread several dime size amounts of your product across your pad and then begin dabbing it onto the surface of the headlight to ensure that you don't splatter once you turn your polisher on. I usually start on a low speed one or two to begin to work the product across the surface and then I jump up to a middle or high speed. For this tutorial, I did not take the sanding method approach. I did not necessarily need it for my headlights, but in a later tutorial coming out soon, I will be showing you how to sand your headlights, polish them, and then also seal them as well to do a more thorough and completely restore your headlights. But for now, I just went ahead and worked the compound for about three to four minutes on my headlights just to clean them up enough to bring them back to a very clear appearance very quickly with just a, about 10 minutes of my time. As you're going around the edges, you'll notice that the polish will become hazy or dried out. And that's kind of when you want to stop, buff the headlight, clean off the surface, see your progress, and then add some more polishing compound to your pad and begin the process over again. After my second pass was complete and using a microfiber towel to clean off the old polish, you can definitely tell a difference in how clear the headlights are with just two simple passes with a polishing compound. With the tape removed, you can definitely tell a difference between the left and the right side and how much of that haze and the scratches that you've removed so far in the process. At this point, I'll go ahead and continue to do the rest of the headlight and clean it up again. And I'll also probably make one or two more passes on the left side just to kind of blend it through. I know some of you might be having heartburn over the Harbor Freight Orbital Polisher, but I've owned a Porter Cable in the past, and this polisher is actually pretty stout, and I was pretty impressed with the price point that it comes in at. If you're not doing detailing every single day or own your own business, something like this will work, get the job done, and not break the bank. But if you are looking for a more advanced polisher, there's tons more on the market, so just do your research and find something that will work for you if you're looking at maybe doing this as a business and doing it more often than I am. As I work the polish in the second coat of the headlight, I wanted to tell you guys about a giveaway that I am doing on this channel. I will be giving away a $50 gift certificate to autogeek.com and the only way to enter is to be a subscriber, like this video, leave a comment below of what detail and video you guys want to see next, and if you can, turn on the notification button so that way when I upload a new detail and video, you guys are the first ones to know about it.
All right, now you're at the last step, which is to grab your quick detailer, clean off the headlight of any of the leftover residue from the polishing process, and remove the painter's tape from your paint. So thank you guys for watching today's video. It is a simple process to do. I will be doing a more thorough one where I sand down the headlights shortly in the next couple weeks. That will be more in depth for those that have the most extreme dirty and scratched and yellow headlights imaginable. So be on the lookout for that. And like I mentioned today's video is a giveaway so if you aren't a subscriber subscribe and in the comments below let me know what is the next detailing video you guys would like to see.